happening? What's poppin'? What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spears. I'm Simone, bringing you guys the daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're older and you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, start what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the mini links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spears. It's a merch collection. Get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the flower dye crew neck that I've been rocking lately. This comes in white, black, and green. So shop that before the season. And lastly, guys, turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming like boom, boom. Boom, 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 and you don't wanna miss a single video or a single live stream. So make sure you guys are tapped in, you already know. But guys, what's up, what's happening? It's been a minute since I talked to you guys. Well, for y'all, it don't seem like a minute because you know, I've been posting stuff, but I have not recorded a video in days. I haven't recorded a video in days, y'all. So I feel like it's been a long time since I rapped to y'all. Um, so yeah, what's goody? What's up, what's happening, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why I'm a little bit late, not really late, you know what I'm saying, right on time in my opinion, or my OTA video, but the OTA video is here, but I've been busy, 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 and vacationing the last couple of days, so I wasn't able to drop an OTA video, but we're here. So, OTA started last week, but the guys were off on Saturday and Sunday, and they're going to be right back at OTAs next week, so today is the perfect day to give you guys, like, the first introductory, um, first look, first glance at OTAs. Now, OTAs are voluntary, so there were a lot of guys that was not there. And OTAs are still really great first look at a lot of things, but we know the real nitty gritty comes out at training camp, but it's still some things to talk about. Um, also, guys, I don't know if you saw my shorts, but Devonta Smith held his celebrity softball game this weekend. So a lot of the birds were out there looking like they was having a good time, and I really love the off-season bonding. Yeah, y'all get to know each other, all that. Get the chemistry going. So I really like that. Uh, I know these guys are teammates and all that, but it's good that they do stuff off of the field because that chemistry then translates to the locker room and translates onto the field. So it was good to see a lot of birds on that Rasta, on that celebrity Rasta. But y'all, let's go ahead and talk about what y'all want to talk about and let's start with the guy that y'all want to start with. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Hurts. So like I said, it was only two days that went down. Hurts had two really good deep ball so he had one right down the sideline to Devonta Smith that hurts to Smith hurts Smitty um connection is there okay like I've heard nothing but great things um coming out from the reporters that were live at the OTAs about Devonta Smith and Jalen Hurts chemistry just picking right up where it left off and looking even stronger um so that's just you know a huge check it should be there but it's amazing that you know there was no drop off nothing fell off between those two and they look even better together um, Deion Kane, <laughs> forgot this guy was even on the Rasta, the wide receiver Rasta, okay? Um, <laughs> y'all, it's a TikTok, but it, it gets me every time. So, Hurts had a deep ball to Deion Kane, and he was actually being covered by, um, Darius Slay, so that was a nice little catch by Deion and a nice throw by Jalen Hurts. Um, the biggest highlight from Jalen Hurts was him showing his passes over the middle. I think that was the, the biggest thing. Like last season, a lot of questions on his short um, to intermediate throws um, and tight coverage in the middle of the field. Um, and he showed a lot of improvement just already in those beginning of OTAs. So he had a nice pass to Jack Stoll. Jack Stoll was in stride over the middle um, in tight coverage as well. So he had Jalen Hurts has been showing improvement in that area already, which is really big. And then the biggest thing that I've been hearing reporters and people saying it's just about the confidence that Jalen Hurst is showing um the confidence and the decisiveness is the biggest thing a lot of people were saying and I have to agree I don't really see a big difference like in his motions or whatever um but it's just that confidence um stepping on the field commanding the offense that is definitely something that improved I think that's largely because he's stepping into a system for the second consecutive year this is the first time he's done that in a long time stepping back into a system um for back-to-back -back years with the same coaches familiar with the playbook and the routes and the receivers and all that so that's huge that he's showing um that growth now um he did almost get picked off by Darius Slay um and AJ Brown had to like turn into a defender to keep Darius Slay um from picking that ball off um, he did overthrow um, A.J. Brown. He was op wide open on the sideline. He overthrew him. But just little things. And A.J. Brown is new to the Rasta. The Rasta. Even though they're friends, you know, it's going to take time to build that chemistry. And they've got months to build that. So I'm not even worried about that in the least bit. But, you know, I had to mention it. Um, but besides Jalen Hurts, let's talk about a few other little things. So depth chart-wise, 
Kazir White and TJ Edwards were the starting linebackers ahead of N'Kobe Dean, which is typical. N'Kobe Dean is the rookie. Those guys are the vets. And um, like I said, it's a long time till training camp now. I do think that N'Kobe Dean would end up being our starting linebacker once the season starts. But again, this is just OTAs, introductory. Um, a lot of guys weren't there as well, which we will get into. But um, by the time training camp starts, by the time the season starts, I do think N'Kobe Dean would be a starting linebacker. But that's just a note. Andre Chachery, so he has been starting at safety at OTAs, usually a slot corner for us, but he has been starting at safety, so they're trying to move those guys around, trying to find us some depth at safety, so he was a second string safety along with Kevon Wallace. Um, we knew Kevon Wallace was gonna be that, but it's a little bit of a surprise seeing Andre Chachery, but maybe he would thrive there. Also, depth chart wise, it was Jalen Hurts, Gardner Minshew, and then Reed Sinnett, and then Carson Strong. And interesting tidbit, Carson Strong barely got any snaps, barely saw the field, so. We can, we can quiet some things down um, until a little while, until we'll see if he get any more snaps. But as for right now, Carson Strong was barely on the roster. You know what I'm saying? Um, so no shows. Like I said, it is voluntary, and the fact that some of these guys did not show up is not alarming at all. One, Fletcher Cox. Almost kind of glad Fletcher Cox isn't there. Don't waste them knees and them hammies. We know what you can do. You know what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Save that veteran big old leg energy for the season. You know, we don't need nobody getting hurt at OTA, especially old guys. You know what I'm saying? So Fletcher Cox, you're good. Jalen Rager was absent. Um, he had, uh, he's mourning somebody's loss, the loss of somebody. Quez Watkins, absent. Um, Pascal, absent as well. Zach Pascal, Quez Watkins, Rager. So a lot of the receivers, as you can see, Deion Kane was getting reps. And Deion Kane actually was stepping up in the absence of Rager, Quez, and Pascal. That's why you got to show up. If your roster spot ain't secure, because if somebody like DRK would rise up out the ashes and, you know, then you on the outside looking in. I mean, Rager was already on the outside looking in. But DRK is somebody in the absence of Pascal, in the absence of Quiz, in the absence of Jalen Rager. He has been taking full advantage of um, his snaps with Jalen Hurts. And like I said, he had some big catches and trying to build that chemistry. So, shoot, you know, the young guys are definitely showing up um, and trying to take advantage of the opportunity. Injury-wise, Tyree Jackson. Still recovering from ACL from earlier in the year. John Hightower was rehabbing as well. Um, and then back to, I guess I should have concluded this in depth chart. But J.J. Ortega Whiteside has been lining up at tight end at OTAs. Hasn't been looking any different, but he's playing tight end. Um, and then also, Zach McPherson, he had a big play as well. Um, he almost picked off Gardner Minshew. So Zach McPherson has been looking good as well. But guys, like I said, this stuff is about to pick back up the next couple of days. Um, and then we still have a while until training camp is June. So we still have a while. But these are some interesting things to keep out for and to watch for. But all in all, it's looking really great, really positive, really good for the birds. I think the biggest thing we're going to be looking out for is Jalen and A.J. Brown developing that chemistry, which we know will come. It's just a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? But y'all. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out the links down below. Buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. Shout out to Fisher Small with the Spizzle. It's a merch collection. And until I talk to you guys next time, bye.